Hey guys, just in case you're not aware, just a few days ago, Microsoft released a new update, a major update to Windows 11 that adds more features and functionality. So now the newest version of Windows is called Windows 11 version 22H2. And among my favorite new features is the new way to access snap layouts and snap groups. And that is by just, you know, dragging a window to the top of your screen. As you can see, the snap layouts functionality just pops in and you can select whatever position you want to place a specific window in a specific snap group. We have like six possibilities. You can have two windows side by side, a bigger window and a smaller window, three windows in various configurations and even four windows right here. So if I'd like this window to sort of occupy the left half, I just place it over there and you get this assistant that will help you have your other windows on a specific position in that group. And in this case, I can even have Notion as my third window down here and we have a snap group. That is well done. And if we bring up the task switcher by hitting Alt tab, you can see that our group is right over here and we also have the windows individually over here. But that said, in this video, I'll be focusing on my most favorite feature in Windows 11 h 2 and it's the focus mode. Let's get started. Now, just in case you've never used it, there's a functionality in Windows that is not new to 22H2, but has been around called focus sessions. And what is focus sessions? Ideally, this will help you if you are, say, a student or someone working from home, and you'd like to, you know, boost your productivity by concentrating, having a timer that helps you concentrate on your work for like 30 minutes. Then you get a break for like five minutes and so on, depending on how you set it. And in productivity circles, you'll hear this kind of technique called a Pomodoro technique. So inside the clock app in Windows, and by the way, I'm sure you are used to just looking at the clock at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. But as you're going to see here, clock is literally just a fully fledged app with a lot of functionality. As you can see, it has a timer, alarm, stopwatch, world clock, and so on. Now what happens is there are some four tabs here. One is your main focus session tab that you can set the amount of time you'd like to focus for. And once you go above 45 minutes, Windows will keep assigning you a break like for 60 minutes, one break, 75 minutes, two breaks and so on. And you could decide to skip a break. And once you click this start focus session, you can start concentrating on your work for the amount of time that you've allocated yourself with the breaks in between, usually for about five minutes. But there are settings that you can use to change how long your breaks will be. And as you can see here, focus has actually been given its own tab in the system settings where you can set how long you'd like your duration to be and you can even start a focus session from right inside your system settings. So getting back to the clock app, you can see that focus sessions also gives you another tab in which your daily goal is shown. It gives you how many minutes you focused for yesterday, how many streaks of focus days you've had, and you can click this pen icon to edit your daily goal and what have you. So that said, to also make your focus session more intuitive, you know, a lot of guys concentrate better when there's some background noise, say white noise or some music and so on. So the focus session tab on your clock app will also have this card where you can actually connect Spotify. Once you've logged into your Spotify account, assuming you have one, you're actually given some playlists that you can listen to while doing your work or your most recent playlist actually popping up here and you can continue to listen to them. Now, the other functionality that is built into focus sessions is your tasks. And this is actually the Microsoft tasks, which is the task app for Microsoft. Like, you know, everyone seems to have a task app, Google, Apple, and so on. So you can actually connect it over here then you can assign a task to a focus session. That is, you can decide that I'll be doing this specific task for the next one hour and you start your session for that specific task. So in a nutshell, that is what focus sessions ideally is. But if you do not want to actually open your clock up and so on, focus sessions in 22H2 is actually built into the calendar widget that appears once you click the time on the bottom right hand corner of your Windows screen that you know. 
So this is it down here. You can actually quickly just select how much time you'd like to focus for, say 75 minutes and you click focus. And once you hit the focus button, it actually brings up your Spotify app and you can start a playlist if you'd like to. And among the things that focus sessions do to actually help you concentrate is they minimize notifications on your desktop by turning on the do not disturb mode so you are good to work. And yeah guys, that's my favorite among the many little tips, tweaks and tricks that you'll find on 22H2, the new version of Windows. If you've liked this video, hit the like button down below and I'd like to know in the comments if you'd like me to do a run through of all the new features in Windows or just share down below if you have any favorite feature in Windows that you think some guys might not know and they might benefit from, you know, that's what we do over here. And while you're heading down there, you know, there's the big old red subscribe button if you're not subscribed hit it. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one and as always, no pressure.